Hi friends, I'm so excited that today I'm going to share a lovely book with you called How the Queen Found the Perfect Cup of Tea. Ready? Every morning when the Queen woke up, two mage dressed her, two more styled her hair, and the butler made her tea. Each day she sipped her tea alone, and each day her tea started to taste a bit worse. Finally, she could stand it no longer. James! she yelled. This tea is horrible! Oh dear, said James, too much sugar, too little milk. Too much talking, said the queen. I must find the perfect cup of tea. Stop slouching and get me my coat. Yes, your majesty, said James. They floated over hilltops, meadows, and seas. Land there, the queen commanded. The queen walked with her nose in the air and addressed a young girl. Who are you, pray tell? I'm Noriko said the girl, and you're just in time. My kittens would like to snuggle. James, tell her I do not snuggle, said the queen. Her majesty doesn't snuggle, said James. Well, then it's time she learned, said Noriko. My, said the queen. That was rather strenuous. Might I have a cup of tea? Certainly, said Noriko. You can help me make it. She took the queen by the hand and led her to the kitchen. The queen helped by finding the faucet and turning it on. Then she observed carefully while Noriko did the rest. Hot water. Sift powder. Whisk until frothy. Serve immediately. Add water. Oop, I think I messed that up. They sat down to tea and talked until they had each finished one cup. When they were done, the queen arose. That was lovely indeed. Thank you ever so much. I must be off now. Ta-ta! Has your majesty found the perfect cup of tea? said James. Not yet, said the Queen, but that cup was rather good. Onward, James. They floated over forests, villages, and fields. Land there, the Queen commanded. The Queen walked with her nose in the air and addressed a young boy. Who are you, pray tell? I'm Sunil said the boy, and you're just in time to dribble. James, tell him I do not dribble, said the queen. Her majesty doesn't dribble, said James. Well, then it's time she tried, said Sunil. My, said the queen, that was rather vigorous. Might I have a cup of tea? Definitely, said Sunil. You can help me make it. He took the queen by the hand and led her to the kitchen. The queen helped by finding a faucet, turning it on, and filling the kettle. Then she observed carefully while Sunil did the rest. Gather, chop, boil, drain, serve. They sat down to tea and talked until they had each finished two cups. When they were done, the queen arose. That was lovely indeed. Thank you ever so much. I must be off. Ta-ta! Has your majesty found the perfect cup of tea? 
said James. Not yet, said the Queen, but those cups were rather good. Onward, James. They floated over mountains, valleys, and lakes. Land there, the Queen commanded. James rolled out the red carpet. The queen walked with her nose in the air and addressed a young girl. Who are you, pray tell? I'm Rana, said the girl, and you're just in time to dance. James, tell her I do not dance, said the queen. Her majesty does not dance, said James. Well then, it's time she tried. my, said the queen, that was rather marvelous. Might I have a cup of tea? Surely, said Rana, you can help me make it. She took the queen by the hand and led her to the kitchen. The queen helped by finding the faucet, turning it on, filling the kettle, and boiling the water. Then she observed carefully while Rana did the rest. Fill, rinse, add leaves, stack and boil, combine and brew, pour, lower heat, and serve. They sat down to tea and talked until they had each finished three cups. After they were done, the queen arose. That was lovely indeed. Thank you ever so much. I must be off. Ta-ta! Has your majesty found the perfect cup of tea? said James. Not yet, said the queen, but I know where it is. Home, James. When the queen got back to her castle, she called James to make some special deliveries. Your presence is requested, Her Majesty the Queen, at a royal tea party Saturday at 3 p.m. On Saturday, the queen woke up, styled her own hair, and dressed herself. When it was time for the party, the queen went to the royal kitchen, found the faucet, turned it on, filled the kettle, set the kettle on the stove, boiled the water, and then brewed the tea. She even set out milk and sugar. James rolled out the red carpet and greeted each guest. Sunil arrived first, followed by Noriko and Rana. When everyone was assembled, James blew his bugle. The Queen has an announcement, he said. Guests were quiet. I have discovered the secret to the perfect cup of tea, said the queen. First, you must make the tea yourself. Then you must share it with others. Milk and sugar are optional. Precisely, said Noriko. Exactly, said Sunil. Absolutely, said Rana. The queen was so busy serving tea that she forgot to put her nose in the air. This caused her crown to wobble just a bit. Come join us, said Noriko. That would be lovely indeed, said the queen. Everyone sat down to tea where they talked and laughed and drank cup after cup until the whole teapot was empty. The end. How do you like your tea? Milk and sugar? Or just sugar? Thank you for watching!